Hey guys, and welcome back to Mad About Skin. In today's video, we are talking hyperpigmentation and dark spots. Hyperpigmentation and uneven skin tone can be one of the hardest things to tackle with over-the-counter serums, creams, and topical applications. But in the past five years of tackling my own hyperpigmentation, I've found some real holy grail ride or die serums that I want to share with you, but also some others that just didn't work. The reason I want to sit down and film this video now is that hydroquinone, which was an ingredient a lot of people reach for for tackling their own hyperpigmentation has been removed from sale in the US. It's still available on prescription there, but it's no longer available over the counter. So that's left a whole host of people searching for alternatives, which is what I want to fo focus down on in this video today. So sit back, relax, and let's talk tackling hyperpigmentation and dark spots. I think we all suffer with hyperpigmentation at some point in our skincare journey. It can be caused by acne or insect bites which haven't faded correctly. It can be as a result of hormone changes in the skin around significant life events such as pregnancy. But it can also just be caused by other factors such as sun damage, UV exposure, or some people and some skin tones are just more susceptible to it than others. Now whilst hyperpigmentation and dark spots can be some of the trickiest things to tackle in your skincare, I want to share with you some amazing serums that I think can help bring back your skin confidence, even out your skin tone, and gives back some vibrancy and luminosity to the complexion. So I'm going to cut the waffle and jump straight on in with my ride or die holy grail favourite, which is this. This is the Neod Re Pigment. The reason I love this is it combines so many different active ingredients and pathways for tackling that hyperpigmentation. These serums will work in one of two ways. It will either help to dial down the rate of pigment production in the area that you apply it to. So as the skin naturally removes that pigment through our normal cellular turn, over, you're not replacing it in the same volume, which helps to fade those dark spots. They can also increase the rate of cellular turnover, so you're eradicating that pigment quicker, which is another way of fading over time. This does both of these things, dials back the pigment production, but increases the rate of cellular turnover, so it's like a double whammy for tackling it in a super quick and effective way. A lot of products now combine multiple active ingredients for tackling hyperpigmentation and dark spots, and that's really the way forward if you want those quick results and sort of the maximum efficacy from your product. This has 15 different ways of um, tackling those dark spots and so it's a real beautiful treatment. You use this as a spot treatment so just on the areas that you want it. So I'd say it's more applicable for people that have localized hyperpigmentation rather than people that are looking to tackle a larger surface area. The reason for that is it's a little bit up there in price point but I think in terms of the value I've got from it a 60% reduction in the areas that I've used this on Honestly, I don't think you can quibble about the price and I'm happy to pay that a little bit more for a super effective product. After one bottle, you'll definitely start seeing those results, but I see that the results peak out at around the three to four month point where you'll see around a 60% reduction in hyperpigmentation. Now, if you're looking to tackle a larger surface area, you don't just want a pinpoint product, which is what the Neod Repigment is, then I'd reach for the Inculist Tranexamic Acid Overnight Treatment. This is stunning. It works so well by combining vitamin C and tranexamic acid, two ingredients which will really help to brighten and lift that pigment from the skin. You can use it quite frequently, which I like, because I like to be using my pigment correctors on a regular basis to really maximize the benefit. You can build up to using this product every single night, though that will depend on your individual skin type and how it tolerates the product. This you apply all over the skin. It hydrates you to the gods, and you can use it as a standalone moisturizer, and you wake up with a really good skin day. I'd say you need to use it around three months before you see the desired results. But again, focusing down on how often you have to really invest for the long term when tackling dark spots and hyperpigmentation, I think that's a reasonably quick turnaround time. And I love, love, love this product. Another tranexamic acid based treatment that I love is the Exoglow Serum by Face Theory. So, so good. It combines that tranexamic acid, which if you want to know a little bit more about how it works, I did a tranexamic acid specific video, which I'll link up there. But it combines that with some beautiful other that brightening agents such as vitamin C, niacinamide, and some calming and soothing ingredients as well. This all work so well in quite a short period of time to just help even everything out. It's a really nice and gentle treatment, but doesn't really scrimp on the percentage of those actives. It's got a relatively high concentration of tranexamic acid, which is going to deliver reasonably quick results. I love it. And honestly, Face Theory is one of my favorite brands, and this is definitely one of my favorite products from that favorite brand. If you want to go super affordable and drugstore for your 
tranexamic acid, that you can go to Superdrug, which is a drugstore here in the UK and Ireland, and they do their Me Plus range. This is super affordable, and they do a 5% tranexamic acid booster. Whilst it's not combined with a whole host of other brightening and pigment correcting ingredients, it is a really affordable high strength tranexamic acid, which on its own will deliver so many benefits. I stopped using this because I used other tranexamic acid containing um, serums that have other actives alongside it, such as the Exclo serum. But I did get great results from it. And you're, if you're looking for that super affordable price point, honestly, I don't think it gets better than this. Now, a newer product on the market is by Topicals and that faded cream. This has taken the internet by storm and everybody fangirls hard about it. I tried this product and I was pretty impressed. Now when I said the best way of tackling um, hyperpigmentation and dark spots is to combine multiple actives in one serum or cream to really just drive home the efficacy really early on in the treatment. This combines just about everything you want to see. So in here you've got tranexamic acid, you've got alpha arbutin, you've got azelaic acid, you've got a vitamin C derivative, you've got turmeric root extract, you've got licorice root extract. Honestly, the list is endless. And combining all of these actives together in one cream works so, so effectively. You see a lot of people using this for discoloration on the body. So this is the treatment of people often reach for if they've got underarm discoloration, bikini line discoloration, or um, around the knees and elbows. It can also be applied to the skin of your face, but I would be a little bit cautious with this one. And the one thing I want to call out is topicals haven't disclosed the percentage concentrations of any of these actives. So whilst that's not always an issue, because not all brands do, and I certainly got great results from this. I would just be really careful before applying this to the skin on our face to do a really good patch test and to make sure that you're not sensitive to it. Because some of these ingredients used, such as the exfoliating acids that are in here, and the azelaic acid, tranexamic acid, all of that, could be a little bit irritating to the skin when all used together. So do make sure you patch test before you apply this product, and be mindful if you have sensitive skin. Maybe this won't be the one for you. But for everyone else, Honestly, this is like the dream product when it combines every single pigment corrective active ingredient all in one cream and I absolutely love it. Now, for all that positivity and all those holy grail, ding, 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 amazing serums I've just called out, that I would totally recommend you include in your skincare routine if you're trying to tackle hyperpigmentation and dark spots. There are a couple of products that just were a bit of a fail. I used them for a period of time. I didn't see any noticeable results. First of all, I want to call out the Palmer's Anti-Dark Spot Cream. I was super intrigued about this because it's a really rich, beautiful shea butter based moisturizing cream, which means it should be great for the body. But also if you have very dry skin, it could work really well for the face. I use this on the body because I'm super acne prone and oily. So it wasn't really for my skin type in terms of my face and um, skin. But for the body, I used it and I noticed literally zero difference. If you look at the ingredients, I don't think that they're in a meaningful concentration. and I don't think there's a lot of actives going on in here, which is why I didn't see the results. It's a nice moisturizer. It definitely hydrated, but I found it had a very odd artificial scent and fragrance to it, which was a bit off-putting. And I didn't see any notable difference in terms of the hyperpigmentation and discoloration on the body. So it's not a product that I would personally recommend. Also in the fails, I want to call out the Derma Logica Power Bright Dark Spot Serum. This I had super high hopes for because I love Derma Logica as a brand and this was reasonably expensive. I think I paid around £70 for this and it lasted me about two months. In terms of that price point, I don't always mind paying a little bit more for a pigment correcting serum because sometimes you do have to pay a little bit more to get more. But in this, I got zero benefit. I noticed no difference, no benefits from using this product. I think when I looked more into the ingredients, the issue here is it relies on botanical to deliver that benefit. Now, some of nature's botanicals can deliver so many benefits for tackling dark spots and hyperpigmentation. Licorice root, turmeric, great examples of botanicals which can, if added to a serum, help around the margins with brightening the skin. I just think with this and for the price point, I expected a few more actives. I think I expected just more from the product and it really didn't deliver a whole lot of benefit. So it's not what I'll be recommending. Finally, when it comes to fails, I want to call out Alpha Arbutin. This isn't a product, it's obviously in the ingredient. And this was often what people would start their hyperpigmentation journey with. I used Alpha Arbutin from The Ordinary and I've also used it from The Inkylist quite a few times. And whilst it helped at the margins, I just believe that Alpha Arbutin is more effective when it's combined with other pigment correcting actives in other serums. So I called out that Topicals Faded Serum and that has Alpha Arbutin amongst other fantastic pigment correctors. I think as a standalone ingredient used, say, in The Ordinary Alpha Arbutin, you get some benefit 
it, but I don't think it's going to be groundbreaking. And I think you're going to be a little bit frustrated in terms of the speed at which you're going to see results from this. It's great if you have super sensitive skin and you don't want to mix too many actives all in one, then Alpha Arbutin can be a great place to start. But I think for most people, you're best looking for Alpha Arbutin within a serum alongside other actives rather than using it as a standalone ingredient and hoping that you're going to change the skin when it comes to hyperpigmentation and dark spots. So guys, there you have it, my ding 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 holy grail dark spot correcting serums and the wah 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 total fails that just didn't work for me. I would love 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 to know your experiences with any of the products that I mentioned today. So leave me a comment below. Do you have any other ride or die pigment correcting favorites that you want to call out? Share it in the comments because I'd love to hear from you. And wherever you are in the world guys, stay safe, stay well and look after your skin. Take care. Bye.